Luann, honey, tell me, what is it like to live without shame of any kind? Is it a good feeling? Yeah, it is. My dad's invitation to the party got returned. Grandpa Cotton Hill, Hell, USA? Bobby, why'd you write this? You know your grandpa lives in Houston. Mom says he's the devil. Peggy, how can you tell Bobby that? I said evil, Hank. How you get devil from that is beyond me. Ovaries. Uvula. Uterus. Vagina! <laughs> Relax, baby. It's just you and me. This is a natural process, and you cannot manipulate... You know, you look pretty. Really? Oh, Hank. Well, that's sweet. But I mean it. You have got to stop... You look pretty, Peg. Oh, thank you. Hank, the day after Thanksgiving is, in my opinion, the biggest shopping day of the year. Bobby, I really don't think you can compare a two-day infatuation to a 20-year marriage. I bet Marie and me have kissed more in two days than you have in your whole marriage. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you guys kiss. Your father has kissed me. Peggy! I'm not afraid to show my love. You are. Your father and I have done things you can't even imagine. Peggy, please! <laughs> Marie broke up with me. <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel so good, does it, son? I guess your love wasn't as strong as your father's and mine, now, was it? No, it wasn't! Well, well, well. Jahan Redcorn. Oh, Peggy. Nancy's headache's very severe this morning. Uh, must be the pollen. Well, well, well. Well. Jahan Redcorn. Peggy Hill. Hank. All I know is, if you had come in to find me chewing up the couch, you would not be nearly so forgiving. You know, Dale thought we wanted to swing. Swing? Absolutely not. You get Nancy and I end up with Dale. Who's the clear winner there, hmm? Dale? I pulled your pants down. Huh? Oh, yeah! Fine. All you children are interested in is punishment, so I will teach you about punishment. With this! <gasps> yes! Yes! Why don't you go help her out, honey? Well, the neighborly thing to do is to keep our distance. <sighs> I mean, Luann is clearly crazy. If it was a true religious vision, why would it come to her? I was home. <laughs> oh, Peggy. <laughs> Bobby, honey, do not look over. Wait. No, no, that makes you look guilty. Look over. I am forbidding you to go back there. You forbid me? Unless you decide on your own not to go, because I'll still support that. Nobody forbids Peggy Hill. <clears throat> mm. I'm sorry. Well, do you even know what you're apologizing for? No, I'm sorry, but I don't. I accept. Oh, Hank. My very first business trip. I am finally getting the recognition that I have always given myself. And we've decided to go to Country Music Fanfare in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, I win! Oh, that was my suggestion. Thank you, Assistant Pastor Rayburn. For those of you who don't know, I am Peggy Hill. Okay. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Amen. You are now dismissed. I told you the truth, Hank. If I am lying, 
May God strike me down right now. Ha! You know, there is a line here. Oh, what the? You stole my song! Hank, why doesn't the lid on mine close all the way? Uh, it does. I mean, it almost closes. I'll make sure it closes come the big day. No, Hank. You will build me a new one. Because if you try to stick the late Peggy Hill in an inferior casket, she will come back to haunt you. I will see to it. Maybe I should come up with the game that other people have a chance at. It's going to be tough to find one that doesn't give me an advantage. You brought charcoal into our house. I didn't know what it was. Luann asked me to hold it for her. I thought it was drugs. There's soot under my boy's nails. You don't get that from a clean burning fuel. You don't get the rich smoky flavor either. Shut your mouth. Now, we're gonna sit here and pray. That makes the score Peggy Hill one, and people who doubt Peggy Hill, zero. Believe me, I, I prayed on it, Hank, and God said to me, don't do it. But you know what? I knew better. It is crucial that I impress Chairman Geiger. Although I'm sure all the kids will love this trip, I need one unified voice to vocalize what everyone is thinking. Here are your lines. It's over, Peggy. Let me put this in words even a genius can understand. You are not a genius. Uh, you don't know me, but my name is... Mr. Big. My name is Mr. Big. Yes, yes! Peggy Hill, you are one cool customer. Este tribunal falla que la acusada, Peggy Hill, no es culpable. Oh my God, I'm going to jail! Hank, my entire life, I have always had all the answers. And today I didn't, and I'm scared. What if I'm really not as smart as I think I am? <laughs> and towards the end there, they were throwing potatoes, which I had to tell them was more historically accurate. <laughs> my mouth. Well, I just wish I'd been born 500 years ago. I could have single-handedly saved womankind forever. Say good morning to Dr. Peggy Hill. Let's do our shopping before the Salvation Army invades. <laughs> oh, I should get a medal for wit. And you know what I would call that medal? I would call it the... <laughs> the <laughs> I don't know. Aunt Peggy, I don't think this is right. He's a very old man. Luann, this is for charity. Uh. Oh, yeah! Let's go. But I paid for another throw. Uh. Oh, come on, Peggy. You've got an IQ of 170. <laughs> You've said so lots of times. Yes, but, but there could be a margin of error, especially when it's just my own estimate. Oh, God. What if I'm average? Do you have any idea how dumb average is? Feeling, I am rhythm now. Leaning, I am music now. Now I'm flash dance through my life. Hey, Peggy. I can take care of it, Hank. Luckily, I have enough faith in me for the both of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see where I'm going with this. Who's next? I am. Sister Peggy Hill. <laughs> Billy, there you go. Mm-hmm. There. Sister Peggy, I dropped my practice wafer on the floor. Five-second rule. Sister Peggy, I really like going to church. Does that mean I can give it up for Lent? Well, I'm pretty sure God wouldn't like it, but what can he do? You caught him in a technicality. Good for you. You're impersonating a nun. With the gajillion things that are right about this, you zoom right in on the one negative. I didn't mean to damn their mortal souls for all of eternity. I just wanted a full-time job. I was hoping it would not have to come to this, but it looks like I have to take down the system. Hey, 
Did you happen to see me, the most beautiful girl in the world? And if you did, was she Peggy? And you are of high intellect, Peggy. No matter what you've been told by your husband. Mm, no, uh-uh. Your father. Mm, not really. Mother. <gasps> How did you know? I hope you brought your appetites. We are having Spa Peggy and Meatball. Did she say Spa Peggy? Well, Spa Peggy is a lot like spaghetti. I'm not sure what Peggy does different, if anything. Bobby, you just focus on smashing those cookies. I did not pull you out of school to give me lip. Hi, would you like to guess that? Save your spiel for the rookies. 10.1 ounces. Oh, I'm so sorry. 10.3. What? Oh. Peggy, you idiot! The cup! Of course the cup! Oh, Peggy, you genius! Two scoops vanilla, one half palm full of jimmies, three medium-sized pecan bits, and one Italian maraschiano cherry, no stem. Exactly 8.4 ounces. Wrong. Wait, wait, you're right. We have a winner. I'm sorry? We have a what? Winner. That's right, boy! Piggy Hill, winner! Come on, Bobby, there's free ice cream! Free at last! Free at last! Hank, I'm not sure, but I think we are gods to them. Excuse me, is that seat free? Nope, that seat is reserved for the father of the star of the show. I am the stage mother, Peggy Hill. Please clear the aisle. I groomed her, I taught her everything, and she has the nerve to stab me in the back. That is just not done in politics, Hank. Hank, we're gonna need a bus. We're not spending money to rent a bus. It's for the freaking children! Hank, you're out. Peggy, you're in. Mac, this is my husband, Hank. He's the one who almost killed us. Oh. There's no way this test can determine anything. I can't even believe I'm taking it. There, there, you finished. Now it adds up your crazy score. You know, I don't even care what it says because this test is absolutely stu- Oh yeah! Strongly prefer the company of black people. Well, you can't argue with results, Hank. Quite honestly, I think it's a pretty good test. Young lady, you had a question? Well, um, I- Yes. I find that I am too busy succeeding to keep track of all of my ideas. So, I keep them in a file. Well, actually, that's more of a comment than a question. Well, thank you. I think so, too. Luann, I have decided that your boyfriend is crazy. Now, do you want to break up with him, or should I? Now, just stop it. Stop telling me what to do. I am a proud, ignorant woman, and no one is going to change that. I never told you to secretly dope your husband. Well, you didn't say not to, did you? Medicine is no place for mixed signals, doctor. If I am not an artist, what is that? Mm. Oh, it's crooked. <gasps> you see, I bought this minor bird and it just won't talk. Put the bird on the line. What? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, bird. Rah! I love Dora Sherwin. Who's a good bird? I love Dora Sherwin. Rah! Come on, bird. I got all day. Uh, rah! I love Dora Sherwin. Hmm. Okay, what do we got? But I'm on a roll! On behalf of Fanfare, let me be the first to welcome you with a little song written by Peggy Hill. Fanfare can be fun fair, but if you don't wait your turn in a lot, well that's unfair. Thank you. Walk away from the redneck. Walk away from the redneck. Oh, no. Alice Bullard. She was the best cheer coach I have ever seen. And she was 98 years old. I wonder whatever happened to that woman. This is an extremely personal matter about one of our members. Oh, of course. Hmm. Kevin! You are taking Luann to the prom. But those men said they'll kill me. They'll have to get past me first. Well, you are pretty scary. Yes, I am. Now, are you going to clip on this bow tie, or am I? Aunt Peggy, why aren't you going to the game thing? Mm, 
Let's just say that my style of cheering is not consistent with the new stadium regulations. You call this my tots! It's okay. I'm here. You can go now. Go. Go into the light. The light is good. You can just let go now. Oh my God. You're deaf. I thought she might be faking. That's not my husband. What's my next line? I'm blanking, Hank. For a child to see a parent as human with weaknesses and vulnerabilities, I'm glad it was you and not me. Ernst, imagine if the man you love found someone else to cook for him and clean for him and make his pants. Who is this other woman? The other woman is my son. Oh, please. There's no rule that says only women can do housework and only men can have careers. I can do both. I am what the magazines call a superwoman. I like superwoman. Oh, Bobby, thank you. How could you, Peggy? Even world-famous surgeons do not get it right 100% of the time. They make mistakes, Hank. People die. We're human. <sighs> you know, from the dates on these tapes, I lost touch 12, no, 13 years ago. I wonder what happened to me. Hey, guys. Hmm, I guess we'll never know. I'm playing with the queen of hearts. You know she isn't very smart. What the hell? My child is an honor student at Westview Elementary. Yeah? Well, my child is God to billions of Asians! La Peggy Hill Cha, La Peggy Hill Cha, doing dishes in the sink. Who wants birthday cake? Yes, yes, 13 for 13. Uh huh, in your face, boy. Uh huh. Hey, Bobby, it's your birthday. <laughs> That's right, I serve you cake. Uh-huh, I'm Peggy. Pull your leggy. Oh, uh, Bobby, let's go. Say what? That's right, I'm all that. I'm Peggy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Get funky. So, what do you think of your sandwich, Bobby? I have never had a better sandwich in all of my life. It's as if the meat was touched by God. Oh, yes. I thought it was going to be a good sandwich when I was making it. How do I look? Ah, <sighs> your skin is radiant and your hair is luxurious. How jealous other boys must be that I have such a perfect mom. Oh. 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 